This week for our review of the week, we're gonna talk about Undead Girl Murder Farce Episode 6. <laughs> Keep on watching and subscribe to this channel. So, let's deep dive into this one. Face! Nagupisa ang tenseness ng, ng face ng episode na to sa opening sequence pa lang. Because, yung, yung sequence na to, nagpakita ng potential switcheroo. And in later sequences, ayun nga, nangyari! Do I have complaints, guys? No? <laughs> Because, alright, our main protagonists are dealing with not just our son Lupin here, who is an actual, um, uh, who is our real-life gentleman thief, okay? Totoong tao po ito in history, in French history. And, but they're also dealing with Sherlock Holmes, Kakumpidensya na nito sa, sa industriya ng, uh, sa industriya ng crime solving. I am not complaining, right? This was one exciting episode because of the pacing. And, right now, pwede natin sabihin na, it's a really good setup for the next, for, for the second half of this anime's run. I can't wait. Right? Right now, I can't wait, guys. So naman, first gear shift was when Sugaro realized they lost Aya. Well, no-brainer right there. Kasi kung hindi nangyari ito, well, if you're, if you're an anime viewer, hindi mangyayari sa gobaan nila, nila Lupan at Sugaro. You, you can now trace those sequences to this one. Although it's an explainer. Pero, don't, don't get me wrong, guys. Kahit, uh, kahit explainer sequence lang to, it is a gear shift. So, dito nyo, marirealize that this gear shift triggered the episode. This explainer sequence triggered the episode. Final gear shift. Opo, dalawa lang. Was when Lupin faced off with Holmes. No brainer right there. Because, historically, if you would look back, if you would Google it, this is how the original our son Lupin operates. Binibigyan niya ng notice yung pagnanakawan niya. Ganong kaangas ang mukong na to. Okay, so, this gear shift will show you how how notorious a thief our son Lupan was. Ito pa lang. This is the type of gear shift that will make you research on the character even more. Eh, kasi ganito siya, ka, ganito siya, ka, ganito siya ka, kaangas na kontrabide. Or in this anime alone. So, What more, what more to do than uh, for an otaku than to research it online or even offline? Especially if you're a resident of France. So these two gear shifts that I saw, bitin. You'll completely miss out on the other action sequences if you just watch these two gear shifts. So, if I were you, I would watch this episode from start to finish. Plot wise. Nah, alam nyo, uh, explainer sequences have their power in, a, in an anime episode then. This one was really exceptional because it triggered the episode. Therefore, you do not need a side story or backstory for this particular episode. Kasi, nakita kita na yung mga, yung, yung tatlong paksyon na na, na mag-aaway para lamang sa isang rare na black diamond under that is, a, that is in the possession of Phineas Fogg okay, the main the main protag of the book Around the World in 80 Days by Jules, by Jules Verne But that explainer sequence is really powerful okay? yeah, it, it was powerful enough to trigger an episode such as this henceforth absolutely clean plot right Probably, yeah, mamiya na. So, pace, flow, and plot. They all came together for this episode, folks. Now, I can say it. Probably, this anime's best episode so far. And what a way to cap off the first half of its run. So, on Dead Girl Murder Farce, episode 6, no-brainer. <laughs>